I wanted a wireless mouse, so I decided to build my own using the Bamboo Lab wireless mouse component kit. It was all fine and dandy. I ended up changing my design. I even ran into a bunch of issues. I just could not get this 3D print to print properly. Some tells me your 3D print is not supposed to look like this. We had a bunch of bed adhesion issues, stringing. I ended up using isopropyl alcohol to fix it. But ultimately, I ended up just buying the Logitech MX Master 3S. And if you want to know how I ended up saving 20% on this, stick around for later in the video, I'll tell you how. This is my 3D printed wireless mouse journey. Nothing fancy in this video, just feel free to watch the build if you want, or fast forward to the end. If you want to know how you can save 20% on any Logitech products at Best Buy. Some B-roll shot. This mouse kit comes with everything you need to build your own mouse. It has a PCB board, you 3D print the parts, and then you kind of just put it all together. It was really cool and intuitive and something I wanted to just try out, you know. I've been, always been a tinker and somebody who likes to engineer things. Yeah, you just kind of get this uh, kit and build your own. If you got a 3D printer, it's something fun to just try and check out. So this is going to be me just putting it together and a little bit of commentary that I had throughout the process. So. I'll probably end up doing some other Bamboo Lab 3D print videos. I got the clock kit, and I believe they came with a boat kit when I bought the 3D printer. So yeah, if you want to see either of those, let me know in the comments. I'll uh, do something similar like this with them. So I noticed with these, they have these clamps that you have to firmly push in. So that's what I did. Now I'm going to just try to make room on the sides for these cables. I believe that's what this is for. Keep those out of the way in the back. I just realized I left this switch out that I'm guessing goes here. So I will go in here. When I put this in Acto line up that switch into that motherboard switch there we go i think i got that cool then i believe this gets screwed in There we go, now you would screw in these screws here. I believe this goes in and two more screws go here. Oh, I forgot to put in the roller mouse too. I have one member's mark AA that I'm going to put in here. I have to re-3D print the bottom here because it didn't fully print properly. So I'm going to have to get that updated. There you go, you can see it's working. Hit the off switch. Put that back in just to hold it in place for now. And I guess I'll screw these in. Before I screw anything in, oh, I should make sure that this has enough, enough space so nothing gets pinched. Cable doesn't really want to go over. There we go. That's what we want. Now, I don't know if this screwdriver is even big enough. So. 
So I don't know if you can actually see it, but this is the Allen key. Which I don't have on me, so we're going to skip this part for now. They even have a little space for your dongle. Overall, seems okay. You can see that there's some imperfections in regard to the print. But nothing I'm gonna write home about. I'm just trying to see if it's gonna be functional or not. We can always clean up a 3D printer, do another one later. Time for some B-roll action. The right button definitely has more click to it. Or I mean the left one. More bounce to the click? Maybe that's the word I'm looking for? Overall, it's pretty comfy design. Now the moment probably a lot of you are waiting for, how to save 20% off at Best Buy. If you have any old mouse product or other keyboard desktop accessory, bring it to Best Buy. They will give you a recycled coupon for any Logitech product, 20% off. I ended up using this Apple Magic Mouse that had a bunch of issues. We couldn't connect it, and when it would connect, it would work on other computers. Anyways, go to Best Buy, trade it in. They will give you a coupon for 20% off. And then, yeah, just go find any Logitech product that you're looking for. In my case, I wanted a wireless mouse. Ended up picking the Logitech MX Master 3S. I had the original MX Master, and it eventually died on me, so... Figured I'd check out the new one. Ended up picking it up. Anyways, let me know what you thought about this video. It's a little bit different if you liked it. Let me know if you have any changes you would have done or like to see or anything. Let me know what you thought. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. It means a lot to me. I'm trying to continue to grow my YouTube channel. And yeah, this was something I wanted to do and it took me a while to finalize this, but thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. We got other things in store.